Yep. yep. Hey everybody, welcome back to Don't Stop. Today I'll be unboxing the BenQ 2720X. This is obviously the 27 inch version of this. Um, I was informed the 24 inch would have been fine, but I decided to go with 27 inches. Um, this is actually going to be for my personally uh, built computer, which we have a video up for, um, which we can link somewhere. If you guys go check that out. Um, we didn't unbox a monitor yet because I wasn't really sure exactly what to, what to get. And um, the price is kind of varies, so I didn't want to include that to a PC build because I decided to go with a little bit um, higher end um, BenQ model. Uh, for those who know, BenQ has been out for a mild amount of time. They're kind of really just jumping in the market uh, with their um, like extremely well built monitors. They're making a you know a huge impact. So I decided to go with BenQ. Uh, and so let's get started here. All right, so now as you can see, I take the knife, I put it over the tape, and I cut the tape with my knife. All right guys, so now that we're inside the box here, we're gonna go ahead and start looking through some stuff here. Uh, first I have uh, obviously a driver of some sort for the BenQ, um, probably for the GPU installation and stuff like that, um, to get like the right hertz level and display levels. Um, a little CD that comes with that, maybe a little how-to guide. Um, secondly, we have this bag here. This looks new to me. I actually don't know what this is. So let's pop this guy out. Um, this, yeah, I have no idea what this is. Uh, so it looks like some kind of, you know, those things you get for your car that you put over the top of your car. I think this is, you put this over the top of your display when you're not using it. Uh, to maybe keep it from getting like dust and dirt on it, so that's kind of cool. Uh, I don't know if I would use this, but that's kind of a cool little thing for you guys who may worry about what potentially maybe have cats. Be good for people with cats. Um, right here we have our DVI adapters um, for connecting the two. You know, getting a good output. I actually ordered a specific adapters for the higher output so I can get that good frame rate. Um, this side here looks like a USB. Another USB there for connecting ports. Um, here we have our power supply. It goes to your power, you know. Uh, this side here looks like another, you know, kind of another DVI port here for. Um, yeah, that's what that is. Yeah. So there's another one of those. Lots and lots of ways to, to adapt your your, your um, display monitor to your computer there. So here is something unique to the BenQ, is it's a um, S-switch. So this S-switch <coughs> is apparently supposed to let you customize multiple display options that you can switch to quickly. So that's kind of a cool thing. I think it's attached to the bottom of your monitor and you can just change it in, in, on command. Uh, that's kind of a cool thing, a little S-switch, so by BenQ. So we're gonna pop it open here and see what it looks like. So. USB port. Bam, bam, Q. So on the front of your display, so this little port here, that clips um, on the front of the display, which I can pu pull it out here and show you guys here in a minute how that clips next to that. But then you have like your revert, you know, the scroll option here, one, two, three. These are like your display options where you can choose between display options, which is kind of cool. Um, Let's go ahead and pull up the, the bottom part here. Yeah, so this is the bottom of the monitor. This is your mount here. So let me go ahead and pull it out. That's pretty, that's pretty sturdy right there. Um, so this thing sets down like so, I believe, and this guy just kind of slides into place like that, yeah. So that's how that would be, be set up. And then you can like quickly just go between um, the scrolling. I'm, I'm, really, I'm not really sure if the scrolling up and down does, but I know these guys switch your displays. Um, that'll be kind of a cool feature. Obviously, if you, you want that different output, all right, next we have the neck. Like, so this is a 27 inch display, so this is gonna be maybe a little overkill, I don't know. Um, so here we have, obviously for like, you know, cords and stuff like that, we have this little option to where you know, put like your mouse, keyboard, cords obviously through this guy here, other cords just for cable management, which is kind of cool. Um, up top of us, we have a huge mount for that 27 inch display. And on the back, you have a little, you know, like a little headphone hook, or just, I mean, I would, my, I would personally probably use this for headphones, um, maybe microphone, stuff like that, I don't know. Um, and then like a little carrying, carrying guy there. I mean, that's kind of, it's kind of nice actually, to carry it around your house. 
when you just want to carry your laptop around. Um, it has a little swivel back here that you can adjust as well, which is kind of cool. Um, so we'll go ahead and put that there. <coughs> All right, guys. So now we'll go ahead and pull out this giant monitor here. Hopefully it didn't break in transit. Get that stuff out of the way. All right, guys. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and pull out the monitor here. I don't want to break it, but a lot of packaging here. So let's undress this 27-inch monitor here. I should pay for this. All right, so 3D Vision NVIDIA. So it is, you know, set up for the NVIDIA 3D output if optional. So there it is there. BenQ 27 inches. That is a lot of screen, guys. Um, this may not be the ideal monitor for S uh, FPS uh, game gamers. I'm immersed in larger worlds like Witcher 3, so I like to set like, a full display of what I'm doing. This might be hard to navigate on a on, on those you know, uh, first-person shooter games because obviously you like that condensed screen for like being able to see everything around you. Um, but I, you know, I went ahead and went with this, this guy anyway. Um, on the back, obviously you can see that where the mounting display would go. That's where we're gonna mount it up. Uh, then your, you know, your multiple HDMI imports. Uh, this guy here is um, this guy here. We're just at my display port. Is, you know, I have, the, I have the golden compound cover, so it's, that, I mean, it's not a huge difference, but you'll see a, a mild uh, change in that. So I have that um, for my personal input for my GPU to get you know best output as possible. Um, and there it is, uh, 27 inch BenQ monitor for you guys. We can go ahead and put it together here. Uh, and I'll show you what the finished product looks like here in just a moment. This mount here, the top, it actually goes on fairly easily. This actually just snaps right into place. So if you like set it, you know, compress it on there, it just snaps right in. Down here, there's actually a little couple little pins. You have to turn this, the whole uh, screen like this, you know, and you know, sideways, basically the side is 40 degrees, whatever. And then it snaps into place and you bring it right back down to the front. So it's actually pretty easy to just, to go ahead and secure. It's I mean, really simple to put together. And then as you see, you have like your little display um, your little, little clicker there on your S switch and then so that's it man the beauty of that 27 inch screen I mean that's gonna be a lot to look at as you can see that swivel bam 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 you know really beautiful screen okay right, so that's it 27 inch monitor by BenQ um, I'll be enjoying this thing quite a bit um, if you guys have any questions or anything like that about you know our previous mod or the, you know how it works together later on just let me know um, otherwise if you've been watching our other stuff don't stop see you next time on next unboxing